Police have said the assault-style rifle suspect Bobby Cremo the third allegedly used in the Highland Park mass shooting was legally purchased, as were the other four guns Cremo apparently owned. That despite the state's red flag laws, some say could have been used to deny him a FOID card or to potentially take those weapons away. Illinois has legislation that's probably superior to other states. However, it's like, you know, woefully lacking and it doesn't have teeth and it needs to have teeth if we really want to end mass shootings. Lorianne Post has studied mass shootings over the years and says the Highland Park shooting follows a familiar pattern despite the state's red flag laws. Most shooters put out plenty of warning signs. In Cremo's case, he attempted suicide in April of 2019. Five months later, police responded when he threatened to kill people in his home. They confiscated 16 knives and other weapons. He also put out allegedly threatening social media messages. The firearms retraining order is, is useful, is very useful in all these types of situations where someone is making threats, someone is, is uh, experiencing trauma. State Representative Denise Stoneback fought for funding to educate people about the red flag law. Since that law took effect in 2019, more than half of the red flag alerts statewide have been in DuPage County. I firmly believe that our use of this law has saved lives. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin touring the UCAN facility on the west side of the city designed to prevent violence says the red flag laws work, but ultimately it comes down to those closest to the potential gunmen to come forward. Parents have a special responsibility when it comes to firearms and particularly when it comes to assault rifles for God's sake. Uh, and I, I think there's got to be some culpability and responsibility in this situation. A lawyer for Bobby Cremo's parents admits his father did sign a consent form to allow his son to get a FOID card. However, the father had nothing to do with alerting authorities about any concerns regarding the red flag law. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.